but nuking them. Alright, alright, you didn't have to put that at it. <laughs> you didn't have to put that at it. Bow! We hit your face, body. Bow. Nigga was choking, he rowdy. He get a clip if he doubt me. <laughs> Try me. Try. Wildin'. Nigga, I feel like I'm Favi. I got this big drip on me. Drip. I got your shorty beside me. Drip. Whoa. Alright, so. I don't know who the fuck Tanya is. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck Tanya is. And we finna go ahead and we finna, we, we, we finna, we finna figure this shit out together. Some of y'all might know, and others like me don't, all right? But apparently, Isakai, she did this is the Isakai demon. So we finna go ahead, we finna see what this is all about. If y'all wonder, my fault if I sound like this, I woke up literally like 10 minutes ago, and I went on Twitter, and I saw this man CJ say he was posting something at 7.30. I'm like, oh shit, this shit was like 10 minutes ago. So I was like, you know what? I don't even feel that tired. My body don't even feel that tired. I got right up, came in my room, started recording. So you already know what's about to pop. You already know what's popping. We finna go ahead. We finna check this out and just see what's, what, 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 what we we finna experience. What we finna see. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead. Let's see what we uh what we finna see. But she's like, wow, y'all did it. Congratulations. Now let's start exercise two. Huh? Y'all got 48 hours to get your asses to the camp. So, uh, quit looking at me stupid and get the stepping. Is this nigga serious? Well, shout out to CJ the Chair, man. I, I, these videos, these videos he be doing, man, I love it. I love it. It just be full of energy. We got, he be having some funny shit. And then sometimes he'll be saying some shit like, huh, you know, I never realized that. <laughs> You know? Alright, ladies and gentlemen. It is finally time to return to the round table. Oh, we're doing Air Black Force Air Activity Force? Because a new challenger has oh, this Black Air Force to Activity? be judged and to take their rightful seat at this sacred table of demons. And it's none other than this sweet, innocent little... <sighs> Who is that? Bro, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat this shit. Who is that? The literal spawn of Satan, Tanya Von de Gerichoff. This ain't no damn little girl. This is a de- Y'all saw my face? Y'all saw my face? Y'all saw my face when, like, when, when, when he cut to the fucking spinning? That was, that was some, bro. Little girl plus demonic shit plus show equals holy shit. This bitch is evil. A literal spawn of Satan, Tanya Von de Gerichoff. This ain't no damn little girl. This is a demon child, a warmonger, a tyrant. This is pure evil, immortal form. Like, I think I teased this video all the way back with like Truck Coon. What was that, like a year ago? <laughs> Jesus. But y'all already know we got the evidence on deck. And it is finally I time to- I just don't know who she is. The isekai demon. I really so, don't. Without further well, ado, we finna see. Exhibit A. Already just looking right, at her face, she looks just evil. I now present to you Exhibit A, the origins of a demon. Okay. So we start off in 2013. Meet Tanya. I beg your pardon? Yeah. This Jeff Bezos ass businessman is Tanya. That's Tanya? So as we can see, bro is laying off this guy right here. Wait. Was that. Okay. Cause I'm guessing this this is an isekai, of course. So I'm guessing he's gonna reincarnate. Is this? But right now, is this his actual name, or is he reincarnated into his name being Tanya? Bro said, "Listen, you ain't clocking in on time. You do subpar work, and you lazy as hell. So you fired." Nigga. But bro's like, "Please, I have a family." But then he says, "Uh, is that supposed to be my problem? You see, if you wasn't doing some shitty ass work, you wouldn't be in this situation right now. So f out of my face." Oh my god. So later on, while homie is at the train station, the train. he's up getting pushed into the tracks by the oh dude that got let off. God. And then he appeared once more. Train come, yup. Instantly, instantly thought of Tokyo Revengers. That's the first thing I think of, bro. This looks like the same train station too. What's good with y'all niggas? Y'all never thought y'all would see me again, huh? <laughs> well, I'm back even better than ever. Look at me on the train. What, y'all thought y'all would never see me again after what the Tokyo Revengers did? After I squished that bitch and made her a can of spam? It's so satisfying to see a protagonist. This has got to be the same. On my this has got to be the same train station. To my no. Time to get some Oh, what? Ah! 
So homie ended up getting reincarnated into Tanya. And now bro really in the trenches. So Tanya had a plan. She said, I, right, I'll just join the military. So she ended up rising through the ranks pretty fast because she has the conscience of a 40 year old man. So she ended up becoming a drill sergeant. So she like, I right, listen to f up. You listen to everything I say. If you disobey me, I will not hesitate to put my foot up your ass. If you disobey me again, I will put a bullet in your motherfucking skull. Am I clear, nigga? Um, question, can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> I'm sorry, bro, but just seeing that, just you doing the voiceover and just seeing the little girl screaming this shit like, are we clear, nigga? Like, <laughs> I can't see that, bro. Sure, you can go to the bathroom. You know what? You could do it right now for everybody to see. Oh, my God. So, obviously, they're taking this as a joke because they think that, oh, this is just a little girl. But, dear God, they will learn. Because later on in the day, an explosion ends up happening. And she blasted these niggas out of the classroom. So, then she walks up and she's like, mm, mm, mm. Look at y'all on the ground, ass tooted up like a bitch. So, then bro tried to hit her, but then she just slapped him. Then she says, didn't I tell you if you disobey me, I will put a bullet in your skull? Looks like your brains need to be rearranged because you can't follow orders for shit. But then dog has to stop. He's like, hello, hello, chill. So after this incident, they ended up sending her on this recon mission. So she ends up finding some enemies. So she calls an artillery strike on them. So while they're getting bombed, she's just watching them. And she's like, look at them running around like ants. Pathetic. They deserve to die. But while she's doing this, she ends up getting attacked. So she's like, hey, cuz, I need reinforcements. But then they say, I'm oh, sorry, but uh, we ain't got no reinforcements right now. Huh? So you all on your own. Delay the enemy till then. Over and out, my nigga. Oh, no. Don't tell me this finna be the part to where, like, she, like, does some shit, gets out alive, comes back, and that's a really going demon time. And look at this, she like, Hell no, they're sending me to die. But then she just starts losing it. She like, well, oh, fuck. Looks like we on pack watch tonight. So she blitzes them and starts blasting. Oh my gosh, she blew up his arms. But then she ends up running out of ammo. So she's like, huh, looks like I have to improvise. So she sucks this nigga. Then she grabs homie from behind and she's like, do you want to go boom boom? Oh, shit. Overkill. Oh, oh my gosh, she oh. killed all of them. And look at her fall, and she's like, <laughs> pussies. So after that <laughs> shenanigan, she ended up getting an award. And now they done put her on the front lines. So she starts fighting no, this wild. company right here, and she just starts going ballistic. So then she blisses these dudes and cuts homie's head clean off with a ginormous smile on her face. Oh, so she is just laughing. Hello? Him. So then she flies all the way up and starts talking to him. Attention, you are on Imperial grounds. This is our land, so f off with that busted ass hockey puck on your head. So obviously they don't it, so they just start <laughs> shooting at her, but she just eats it. So nah, she's like, oh, bro. so uncivilized. Well, time to pull out the aim button. Tactical nuke incoming! Ain't no way she's sending an actual nuke, right? Th this is an edit, right? <laughs> Alright, alright, you didn't have to put that at it. <laughs> you didn't have to put that at it. So after the shot, she's like, <coughs> God damn, your packs ain't hard as shit. Now, please surrender, and Uh, Lieutenant, I think they're dead. God damn it. So after this, Tanya ended up having a run-in with these two soldiers. So these dudes end up trying to go take out the artillery, but that's not their orders. So Tanya's like, yo, the f*** y'all doing, man? That is not my orders. Get y'all asses back here. But they didn't listen and did it anyways. So later on, when they get back to camp, she calls them in and she says, all right, y'all niggas going home. You can't listen to orders. I ain't got no patience for somebody that can't do their job. But they like, hell no, nah, I put in work. So then she just looks at him and says, so are you saying that you're disobeying me? So you're saying I should kill you niggas right here. But Victoria ends up stopping her. So she's like, ah. Fine, f out of my face. But don't think y'all getting off light. So after this, those two ended up getting stationed at the rear because Tanya sent them there. So some days end up passing. So they end up getting a report saying, "I know this is a, I know this is supposed to be a very funny video, but I'm not gonna lie with with CJ telling us this. It's like I'm listening to a whole story. 
You know what I'm saying? And I'm just, I'm kind of a little hooked on right now. So if my face seemed like, damn, this nigga really get into it. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of him because this shit interesting. What the fuck? And that those two dudes, cursed and hauled, are dead. They ended up getting hit by a random shell. So Victoria goes and tells Tanya, yo, uh, cursed and hauled are dead. And she's like, yeah, I know. So she's like, wait, 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 what? Then Tanya says, that pillbox is very exposed and is an easy target for artillery fire, don't you think? So then she realizes, oh my God, Lieutenant, did you send them niggas to die? <laughs> This is the, oh, by the way, this, no. is, this is still Exhibit A. Bro, she sent them to their death. That's crazy. Because she knew that place was going to get attacked. She said, I am the judge, jury, and executioner. Oh, no. Nah. I can honest a guy in this trial right here just off of that. Honestly, but you this could. this is just a big Bro, game. with the days of shit, honestly, she, she, she deserves the round table. What the fuck? And this is like only Exhibit A. It's going to get worse from him. It gets 10 times worse. So yeah, that was Exhibit A, and it's time to move on to Exhibit B. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit B, War Crimes. So Tanya ends up getting permission from the generals to have a special battalion all to herself. So they give her a month to train them. So at the training ground, she ends up blowing up the entire place. So she's like, wake up, bitches. It's time for target practice but not for y'all, for me. So hope y'all can survive for 36 hours. So she ends up shooting up a bunch of duds, but then one ends up blowing up. So she's like, oh, I forgot. I accidentally added some live shells in there too. So uh, good luck. So this ends up going for 36 hours, a whole day and a half. Nah, that's some BM shit. Nah, that's some crazy shit. That's some crazy shit. Nah, imagine like just being in war. You got this crazy ass commander, and they, they, they just got a they just got a fucking mortar that's just launching shit for like twenty four hours, thirty six hours, or whatever, twelve hours. And you know, there's a whole bunch of duds. And like, and then you just got homie in the back or whatever on the side talking about, look, all of these effects. Watch this thing right here. This shit, boom, killed that nigga. It was like, oh yeah, did I forget to tell y'all that some of this shit ain't fake. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> like what? Shoot all that shit up in the sky? You ain't no escaping. What the fuck? So then after this is over, she's like, wow, yo. Better hope you got good RNG. <laughs> oh, did it. Congratulations. Now let's start exercise two. Huh? Y'all got 48 hours to get your asses to the camp. So uh, quit looking at me stupid and get the stepping. Is this nigga serious? So she made them track all the way through the freezing cold and through enemy territory to the new camp. So then they also ended up getting hit by an avalanche. So she's just standing over him like, wow, y'all some bums. So bro right here is knocked out. So she flies over to him and kicks the <laughs> shit out of him. Then she just picks up dude right here and she's like, God damn y'all sorry as shit. So about a month later, their training arc finally completes. And look at her, she's like, ugh. Wish some of y'all died, but oh well, congratulations. You are no longer bitches. So let's go catch some bodies. So they end up fighting this one country called Daki. So while they lighten them up, Tanya's just looking down on them like, wow, they are pathetic. What are they doing? The f are they? The British in the Revolutionary War? They're lining up in a line. Nigga, this ain't 1776. So later on, they end up finding their base. So she lands and she's like, greetings, welcome to the fatherland. What is the purpose of your visit? Do you have your visas? Cause if not, we're gonna have to deport your asses. Body bags included. So they start shooting at her and she says, so uncivilized, kill them. You, you saw the face? You saw the face? Included. So you saw the face? They start shooting at her and she said, you see the face? <laughs> no, you're done. Yes. Let a little girl in the army do that shit to me and then give me that, just, just show me that face. And it's just like, I'm just, I'm dead. I'm dead. I died to a little girl. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> so uncivilized. Kill them. Kill them now. <laughs> so then after this, she's like, all right, y'all want to have some fun? Let's go to their capital and blow that sky high. So that night, they end up pulling up to their capital. So they end up giving Tanya the megaphone, and she's like, <clears throat> Greetings, greetings, everybody. It is my job to inform you that we are about to blow your... 
you saw how you saw, you saw how the people in the background the the the, the officers behind them just they faces was like what why do i feel like the original audio the original cut like <laughs> she was she wasn't supposed to do that like she was supposed to do they were supposed to do some secret shit to blow it up and instead she turned on the megaphone and was like hey all y'all wake y'all bitch asses up <laughs> All right, kill them niggas. So they end up just blowing up the place. Good God. So after this, they end up having another battle. So when this one, she said, just so y'all know, I cancel reinforcements. I need to know if y'all got that dog in y'all. So then these bombers end up pulling up. She's like, ah, yes, time for some action. So then she ends up jumping on the plane. Then she says, greetings and goodbye. I'm gonna just leave this right here if y'all don't mind. Oh, shit. So then the other planes start retreating. So she's like, where do y'all think y'all going? Allow me to show you the latest and greatest aimbot installed by German super science. So she shoots it and oh my God, that is the most broken ass sh I have ever seen. Nah, that. Nah, bro. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what that shit looks like? If y'all have ever played Returnal, the roguelike game, y'all know that one special move with the guns? That's what that shit look like, bro. But nah, that's some crazy aimbot. It's so crazy that the animation go crazy. Look at this. And, oh my God, that is the most broken ass I have ever seen. Nah, that aimbot is out of nah, control. That's crazy. That nah. rivals Roberta's. Instead of FaZe, nah, I'm taking us for a throwback. I'm <laughs> thick Tanya, nigga. So then she goes down to inspect the plane. But then time stops and you know who starts speaking to her again. Yo, what's good, little nigga? You like the wood I sent you to? Send your ass back to World War One so you can dig yourself out the trenches. Lit it. That's why I sent your ass to trench warfare, nigga. But then she ends up just shooting him. She's like, dog, I ain't got time for your bamboozled ass shenanigans today. So then about a minute later, she finds this cabin. So then she says, God is Oh my God. Should have been stationary in a whack-ass wooden building. So then, after this, Tanya ends up committing one of the most awful war crimes ever. So a resistance was forming in the Republic territory that they took over. So Tanya's crew pulls up and they try to ambush them. But this did not go well at all because she ended up bodying them. So after they crush this entire resistance, she ends up telling them, yo, all y'all better surrender now. But obviously, they don't. So this one Imperial guy ended up running out, but they ended up shooting. But Damn. Tanya was recording the entire time, just waiting for them to slip up and take the bait. So that gave her the permission to wipe out the entire town. So she ordered an artillery strike on the entire place and just destroyed everything. Home civilians, it did. Shorty had a buster call ready. She had a whole buster call ready, just waiting. She like, ah, right, hold on, you know, I'm gonna set something up. I'm waiting for y'all to slip up. And after that, I'm gonna just blow y'all niggas up, anyways. I don't really give a fuck about y'all. I'm gonna just blow y'all up. Just, but I'm gonna I'm let this play out, though. I'm gonna let this play out. It played out. Boom. Now y'all niggas died. <laughs> what? What? It didn't like matter. Everything was just getting blown up. So hours later, after the barrage finally ends, they end up getting orders to take out the remaining mages. But the thing is, the mages are by a bunch of civilians trying to evacuate. But Tanya's like, hmm, I don't care, an order's in order. So bro right here comes in and he tries to stop her. He's like, yo, this is just morally wrong. This is terrible. But she's like, an enemy is an enemy. Look at all them civilians right there. You think that some of them ain't gonna turn into soldiers one day? Oh, buddy, you best believe they are. Woman, kid, it don't matter. So then she smacks homie and puts him on the ground. But then she puts the gun on the ground and she says, so what's it gonna be? You or them? You can follow waters, can't you? So do it! <laughs> Let's just say that was a very dark day. So yeah, that was exhibit B and it is finally time for our final exhibit, exhibit C. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally reached our final exhibit. Exhibit C, tearing apart a family. Meet Colonel Sue. I already don't like this. Tearing apart a family? Already, already. <laughs> This about to be some fuck shit. A colonel from the US, like literally homeboys from Arkansas. So his daughter ends up giving him this gun. 
And this is very important. So later on, they end up having this battle with Tanya. And Tanya and them f***ing them up, I ain't gonna lie. Colonel Sue's forces are dropping like flies. So then he sees Tanya and he starts having PTSD. He's like, wait a minute, I remember you. You're that little girl that took out my whole squad that one day. Swear to God, I'ma kill your ass. So he ends up rushing her, but she just stabs the life out of this man. So she looks at him and she's like, wait a minute. Haven't I seen you before? Don't you dare play the Metroid Dread music. Don't <laughs> no, the only reason I did that is because me, I love Metroid. I am a, I am a huge Metroid fan. So me instantly hearing that, like, like, like nah, bro. Why you do that? You don't, don't do that. Don't, Four. Don't do well, that. Uh, it really don't matter. <laughs> You're a side character. I'll be taking that gun though. So she kills him and leaves him for dead. Or so we thought, because bro was still alive. He somehow tanked it. He tanked it with the power of God. So about a week later, while they on another mission, bro comes back and look at him. He's dripped out with an eye patch now. So he start going crazy. He got the trench gun and everything. Bro is not playing games. Damn. So when he ends up getting close, she kicks a gun out of his hand and pulls out the attack knife. So she stabs him and she's like, yeah. How you like that, big boy? But bro ate the knife and he's about to explode himself. But the little old duckling ended up coming and saving him. Oh. So then she pulls out his gun and she's like, say goodnight, motherfucker. So she ended up dumping the whole mag in his ass. Then bro had no choice, so he just Ooh. blew himself up after that. And look at a coffin. <coughs> Pack watch, nigga. Rip, bozo, you won't be missed. Appreciate the new gun. So after she offed him, his daughter, the person that gave him that gun, Mary Sue, ended up enlisting to avenge her father. And dear God, her name is Mary Sue for a reason. Because she is a literal Mary Sue. She is broken. She's got the power of Jesus and Tanya's power on crack. So Tanya gets sent off to this country that's basically Russia in their world. So she gives them the mission briefing. So Victoria asks her, yo, are we permitted to defend ourselves or what? And she says, they're communist. Blow the shit out of them. So they get to Moscow and she's like, all right, y'all know what to do like this job. So they just start wreaking havoc and blowing up everything. Bro, so like, do they just be destroying shit? Is that it? They just be destroying shit? They just go from place to place to place to place to place. Just destroying shit. That's that's all I'm saying, bro. And she saw this statue and said, hmm, I don't like that shit. Tear that shit down. So then after they destroy the place, she's like, ah, that looks way much better. I should invest in real estate here now. So then after this, they do one of the most absolutely disrespectful things I've ever seen. They plant their flag on their capital and starts to sing their national anthem while shooting a music video. Hey, they better, they better, they better, they better have a viewer discretion is advised for that video. You know what I'm saying? That the shit that was happening were not props and they were not special effects. Even though there were some special effects. <laughs> oh, no, nah, bro. Who in their right mind like would this. think crazy. of this? This nah. is a hostile takeover on another level. She disrespecting them in their hood. So then here come old Mary Sue coconut head ass. So Tanya says, my God, you are a bother. Here, eat my empty mag. <laughs> So then she gut checks her, and then Mary Sue's like, wait, wait, wait a minute. Isn't this the gun that I bought my dad? Oh, no, nah, this was the bitch that killed my dad. So then Tanya just starts lighting her up with her own gun that she bought her dad, and she put her ass out of commission. So then Ain't a no couple way. days pass out another battle, and Mary ends up oh. pulling up again. So they start fighting, so Mary's like, you stupid little nigga, you killed my papa. And Tanya's like, uh, do you think I care? Not my problem, bitch. So Tanya ends up just straight up nuking. So she goes down to see if she's still alive. And she starts walking out that hole like the Terminator. She said, bitch, you best know I'm from Arkansas. The f I'm a Razorback, nigga. So she ends up socking Tanya and sends her into the spin cycle. Then she's looking at her like, Ugh. I waited for this day so goddamn long. So she just starts beating her. Mickey, monkey, get your ass up, girl. So then after she finishes beating the life out of Tanya, she starts looking at this angel and she's like, oh, yes, praise God. But Tanya ends up throwing a knife in her. So she tries to attack him, but she pops her. And then she said, you uncivilized animal. Tell your daddy I said hello. 
shot the round winning kill. Oh, oh my God, bro. She is just different. The dad and the daughter? <laughs> Demon. But right before she's about to finish her off, homeboy ended up coming in and saving her. Ooh, she got lucky. And look at her. She's like, damn. Should have domed her ass. All right, I've seen enough. Sit down. This is just demonic. Nah, the that is, that is, that is, that was already Black Air Force energy right there from Exhibit War A. War crimes committed. Killing your own men. Literally traumatizing Mary Sue, as well as killing her father with the gun that she gave him, as well as cussing out God on multiple occasions. This is truly the spawn of Satan. So yeah, that's another episode down. So uh hope y'all enjoy it. Make sure you follow your boy on IG and Twitter. Sub to the second channel, and uh I am out of here. She went from city to city to city blowing shit up. Yo, what is this anime? What is this anime called? What is this anime called? I don't, I don't, bro. This is an isekai anime. I've never heard of this, though. She, bro, I'm still stuck in the fact that she, she, she did a, a, a training camp, launched up ammo for 36 hours. Some are duds and some are actual explosives. On her own men. Like what? That's the craziest shit. That's the craziest shit, bro. That's one of the crazy bro, that's crazy. That's honestly crazy. Honestly. Holy shit. Yo, if y'all fucked with this, hope y'all did, man. I this is this is this is crazy. My fucking wow. Hopefully y'all enjoyed and yeah, man. Woo!